Hi there, folks. My name is David Gortz, and I'm the adoptive author of Seamless Donations. I adopted the plugin a few months ago and have been working hard to bring you Seamless Donations 4.0. We are at beta for, or just reached beta 1, and it's really important that you're able to help test out that beta. There are roughly 10,000 active nonprofits using Seamless Donations right now. And I want to make sure with your help that when upgrade time comes, it's a smooth and clean upgrade. So let's go through a number of things related to uh, the first beta and talk about things that you can that you will find interesting, things that would be uh, very, very helpful in testing uh, and where how all this stuff comes together. So roughly the idea here is, is that we want to make sure that these one-click upgrades won't break running sites. So let's take a look at the dashboard for a test site I have and the installed plugin here. And as you can see, I'm currently running 3.35, which is the latest version on the uh, WordPress repository for plugins. This is the older version of the plugin. This is the plugin that I adopted. Uh, and it is architecturally substantially different from the new plugin. And as a result, what's going to happen is in order to do the upgrade, when, once an upgrade happens, we want to make sure that both the old version and the new version work together. And I'll show you what I mean by that throughout this, this short demo. So basically what it is, is if you think about it, the current version is the legacy version in the sense of this is the version that all of these nonprofits are running. Uh, and what we want to do is make sure that as the plugin is installed, um, and they get the upgrade for 4.0 that nothing breaks. So what I did is I built basically a legacy version in the plugin uh, in 4.0 so that when the, when the plugin doesn't update, it will update to 4.0, keeping everything the way it worked in 3.3. And then only once somebody has done testing and clicks an update button, will it then switch to 4.0 mode. And I'm going to show you both of those modes now uh, and, and, and talk you through the various pieces I'd like to, to get your help with because I want to make sure with your help that um, you know all these, these very important organizations are able to keep their donation stream running. So Seamless Donations uh, 4.0 Beta 1 is available from the Seamless Donations uh, site on Zats Labs and there'll be a big link for that as well but it's up here at zatslabs.com projects seamless-donations. And the first thing to do is download the beta, uh, and it asks for your name and we'll give you a download link. All you need to do is uh, save link as, and I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And that's the 4.1 release. But the first thing we need to do, and, and this is part of uh, while it's really important to do this on a test site because we're dealing with two completely different uh, sets of uh, plugin data with the same folder name. Now, when it comes time for users to upgrade after the beta is done, it'll be much easier. People will just be able to hit the update button and boom, the whole, new, whole stuff will come in. But in, in this case, what needs to happen is you'll need to deactivate uh, seamless donations. Now let's just, for, before I do that, let me point out that this is the plugin you're used to. It's got a bunch of, of test donation data. I've got some test data in there. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to pull in seamless donations for. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate this plugin and I'm going to delete it because what happens is we have to make sure that you only have one seamless donations plugin folder on your computer. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is add new. I'm going to upload the plugin, not take it from the repository, but take the beta that I downloaded earlier. Uh, desktop, zip, open, and install now. And I'm doing this real time. Activate the plugin. And so you can see that now we're running 4.01. You'll also notice that there are some alert messages. Uh, the first is that we're running uh, a major update and you need to learn about enabling new features. And the second is the sandbox test server, which allows us to do transactions in a test mode. 
Now, I wanted to point out as I go over the sort of process of this that please, please, please install this on a test site. We want to make sure it works. This is the first beta. It has only been tested so far on my development machines and my servers. It really needs to have a field test. So please run this on a test site. Make copies of your data if you need to, but, but be aware that, you, that this is, this is a, an experimental version. If we get enough positive feedback back at the end, then I'll release it. But until we, there's enough feedback that says that this thing is nice and solid, I want to make sure that nobody gets hurt and that the, the data stays the same. So, okay. So going back to uh, the plugin page, if you go back here to Seamless Donations, it looks sort of different uh, than the original one with this, with this update page. And I'll come back to this in a second. But if the, all the other stuff is what you should be familiar with. The same donations show up as they did before. As you can see, the donations hold, donors hold. All of that data has been moved over. And I've been very, very careful, I hope, and this is what we're, where I'm talking about. I've been very, very careful to make sure that all of this stuff transfers and works successfully. But it's really important that you guys go through and test to make sure your data is solid both in, in the legacy version, which has the little gear icon over here, as well as in the updated version. So go through and please use it in legacy version first. I, I, I kind of can't stress that enough that I'd really appreciate it if you can test legacy absolutely as much as possible because, again, we don't want to break all those sites that are out there. This is the donations page. You're familiar with what this looks like. Um, I'm running 2015 uh, right now as the theme, so it's, you know, it's a donations page. Uh, this will change slightly in the update, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. But you're actually looking at Seamless uh, Donations 4.0 running in legacy mode. And what that means is this is this is where we begin to start looking at the legacy version because if we come back to the main page here, this section describes the update. And, and, and basically, again, I'm pointing out that it really needs to be run and test on a staging server. There's a variety of changes. Um, the UI has been changed, custom post types are in place. There's a ton of, of extensibility changes in terms of things like hooks and so forth. A completely new forms engine. One of the reasons that there were some incremental problems with, with IPN returns was that the old version was actually using two forms and triggering it differently. There's a whole new forms engine that drives this. Uh, and the changes to the admin UI, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, there's a few things that you'll need to change, which I'll show you again in a moment. But please, before you click this nice little button down here, and this video is basically the video you're watching. But before you click this nice little button, Please test everything here, and I'm going to show you. Let's go back to uh, the plugins page here because there's another part of this that's very important, and I need your help with, uh, and that's your testing experience. If you come back to the Seamless Donations page here at Zatz Labs Project Seamless Donations, and click Report Your Testing Experience, it will take you over to a Trello page. Now, um, all you need to do is, is sign up for free. There's not, no, no cost to it. And Trello is actually really very cool. But what you would do is uh, go into the page and click on each of these modes and, and do what's called adding a card. This, these are cards here. And post, uh, for example, if you have a problem with bugs in legacy mode, please post a report there uh, and let me know if there's any kind of bug. And the same with, with uh, bugs in the new interface mode. If you think it's ready, if you think it's ready to ship, let me know that too, because I'm not going to put this thing out for public use until I get enough feedback that people think that this thing looks good and is ready for prime time. So that's that's a key issue here. So let's go back over here, because you haven't yet seen the update, and I'm sure you'd like to do that. So here's what happens. To do the update, it's very simple. Once you've backed up and once you're prepared to move that, all you have to do is hit the, I made a backup, let's do this upgrade. And you hit the button and take a moment, and now you're in the new 4.0 interface. And you'll notice that this first page here, Seamless Donations, is blank. That will be filled in once we're through the beta with, you know, normal how to get started stuff. Uh, but we now have a different interface. First off, if you look over here, you'll notice that there's a nice little palm tree. I'm down here in Florida, so there's a nice little palm tree. Also, you'll notice that there is a donations, donors, and funds post type, and we'll go over that in a second. But you may be used to looking for donations over here, they're not here anymore. Donors aren't here anymore. 
and funds aren't here anymore. And that's because you can do some wildly amazing things over here. So let's go back to donations now, which is now its own post type. And as you can see, you can see all your donations. You can see the fund they're attached to, the donor they're attached to. You can click in on it. And this is a normal post type. So as you can see, it works like a normal post type. And there's some interesting things that you can do with that. In particular, I'll show you, show you it with funds and donors. So with donors, we now actually have individual donors are separated out and you can look at the donor. You can again go into that donor information and there's donor information in there and likewise with funds. But one of the things I wanted to point out to you about the benefit of using these as, as custom post types is let's say I go into the do good right now fund. Up here, you'll notice that it just says post 24 action, whatever. But if I go to, uh, I go to the permalink, you'll notice that there is a permalink here, right? See that up there? It's an actual permalink. It's an actual link to the page. Uh, let me minimize that that is like any other WordPress page. And that means that you can do things like any other WordPress page. Um, and that gives you a whole lot of possibilities. And there'll be more, I'll be able to add more features to this over time, but you could do it quite a lot and this opens up the door for a lot of flexibility. So, okay, we have donors, donations, and funds over here. We have uh, the main menu, oops, we have the main menu over here. And one of the things that you can do, since you don't need these anymore, I, I left these in just so that people didn't get freaked out where to go, but you can permanently hide the tabs because you're now actually working off uh, the custom post type. So these three tabs no longer are really meant to be used here. You have a simplified interface that you can work with. The rest of the interface is very similar to what you have. I, the, the options are pretty much the same as they were in version three. They've just been updated for this admin interface. Uh, same thing with thank yous. I know that there's a lot of uh, features you, you folks want, and this is why this update has been put into place, because it will open the doors to those sorts of features. Form options has been changed a little bit. Um, for some reason, it likes the Australian dollar. Let's make that a US dollar. Uh, and the form fields and sections that are shown are shown uh, with drop downs and requires and so forth as opposed to the radio button. Now the form itself has been changed. Let's just go visit settings for just one second. So settings are here, and as you can see, the, the PayPal test data has been moved over successfully. It's still in sandbox mode. Uh, the log has been changed relatively measurably. Let me, uh, uh, you can see the log data here, but under the log data is um, all sorts of information about your WordPress install. So if we need to do diagnostics, we have just a ton of information that we can go into and look at what's going on. And that's just part of the system. And finally, the other thing that you need to look at is the um, donation page has changed. Because if I do a refresh now, this is what happens. Notice that it says the form is out of date. Please update using the seamless donation shortcode. This is really important because these are two separate forms with two separate forms engines. The GGX donate shortcode worked with the old form with the very inflexible form engine. And this is now working with the new form, which uses the new forms engine. And so you're going to need to change that shortcode so that the form shows. And so let's go back to that page. And now the form shows. And again, we're in the test server. But a few things are, are happening. Like, for example, the other option does a drop down. And if you select something else, it comes back up. Uh, if you want to de designate a fund, the fund drops down. You can choose whatever fund you want. Tribute gift uh, does sort of the same thing, except now acknowledgement and postal mail are not both filled out and kind of there. Uh, instead, if you say by email or you say by postal mail, the right version of the form drops open. Um, really simple stuff, but they're here and relatively useful. The rest of this is Pretty much the same um, if you're out of the United States, for example, if in your, you're in the UK, uh, these fields will change up for that. And then, of course, you can run the, the, the uh, actual donation process itself. But in terms of transition, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. Because this form is slightly different, some of your CSS styles may need to be tweaked. I've done my best to keep all the CSS styles the, the way they were, but there is the possibility that some of them will need to be tweaked. 
Uh, likewise, you need to definitely change the actual donation shortcode to seamless donations from DGX Donate. And again, let's come back over to, uh, I'll take you in through here again, to please report your testing experience. Go to Trello. Um, and now report bugs in the new interface mode. Let me know what's going on uh, in terms of your experience with the new interface. Uh, if you think it's ready, let me know that as well. And what I'll do is as I'm working on this, if I've confirmed the bug uh, or I fix the bug, I will move these things. I'll move these, these, these individual cards can be moved around. I will move the card from its bugs in legacy mode or bugs in interface mode into bugs confirmed or bugs fixed. So you can follow along kind of live as, as this thing updates. I am hoping that we get this thing pretty ready pretty soon, but um, that's, uh, that's pretty much where we're at with everything. Um, and I really appreciate your help. You guys rock. Um, thank you so much. It's, it's very helpful to me personally, but it's also really, really helpful to all of these nonprofits. What we want to do is be able to open the door for these nonprofits to, to, to be able to get the funds they need to do all the great work they're doing and be as flexible as possible doing that. So, again, thank you all very, very much, and have yourself a great day. Uh, please test the heck out of this thing. Thank you. Bye-bye.